Hello class! Welcome back to another reading video and story time from home. Today's story will be Androcles and the Lion. This is another old story that has a great lesson at the end. I hope that you like it. Today's story will be the Usborne first reading book, Androcles and the Lion, retold by Russell Punter, illustrated by Mike and Carl Gordon, based on the story by Aesop. Another Aesop fable. Here we go. A long time ago, there was a man called Androcles. He was very poor, but he was kind. You see, he does not have very much bread, but he gave it to the bird. Androcles worked for a rich man named Brutus. Oh, Brutus looks very fierce. He said, peel me a grape. Mm. Brutus lived in a big house outside the city of Rome. Brutus made his slaves work very hard every day. Androcles scrubbed steps, mopped floors, and made beds. Meanwhile, Brutus sat on the, on the couch, <laughs> on the chair, and ate his apple and said, Mop faster! Can you mop faster? You need to mop more and mop faster. Androcles also cooked food, served meals, and washed pots. Brutus watched him cook and said, Cook faster! You need to cook faster! What a life, thought Androcles. But Brutus never paid him. Not a single dollar. All Androcles got was one piece of dry bread. Even the birds won't eat this. Androcles was making food all day long. He couldn't get any money, only a little bread. One night, Androcles decided to run away. He climbed through a window, and then he ran into the forest. He's running away into the forest, out the window, Far, far away. Androcles had never been in a dark forest before. It was dark and spooky. Gulp, he said. He saw eyes in the trees. He, he saw something running. Suddenly, he heard a loud noise from behind a bush. Androcles jumped! Who? Who's there? He asked. Where will Androcles go? Ah! He looked around the bush and saw an enormous lion. Androcles ran. But the lion didn't run after Androcles. He sat there, still as a stone. Androcles was surprised. He went back. Why didn't you chase me? He asked the lion. I can't run, sniffed the lion. I can't even walk. There's a thorn in my paw. It really stings. You poor thing, said Androcles. Let me help. What will Androcles do? He gripped the thorn. This might hurt. I can't look, said the lion. Androcles pulled out the thorn as quickly as he could. Ouch! yelped the lion. All done, said Androcles. Whew! said the lion. Thank you, cried the lion happily. I'm Leo. He smiled and gave Androcles a big sloppy lick. Slurp! From then on, Androcles, Leo, were best friends. They lived in a cave in the middle of the forest. They hunted for food every day, and each night they shared it together. One morning, Androcles saw a stranger. He tiptoed closer. A soldier, he thought. What does he want? The soldier unrolled some paper. Androcles gasped. <gasps> what did he see? Oh my, oh my, oh my. He saw himself on the poster. Wanted for running away. Androcles. 
Hendricles. Oh, oh no! Hendricles is wanted for running away from Brutus. The soldier said, He won't get away from me. Just then, Hendricles felt a bug on his nose. It tickled. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Achoo! <laughs> sneezed Hendricles. Hey! cried the soldier. Stop right there! Stop right there! The soldier pulled out his sword. Help! said Androcles. Androcles ran as fast as he could. Run, 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 run. Will he get away? The soldier chased Androcles between bushes. Down the hill. Up the hill. And down again. Across the stream. Around the tree. And out from the forest. <sighs> Androcles got so tired he had to stop. The soldier threw Androcles into a cart. Gotcha! He said. Are you taking me back to Brutus? <sighs> Panted Androcles. No, boomed the soldier. You are going to Rome. Rome? Why? asked Androcles. You will see, the soldier said. Androcles had a bumpy, bumpy, bumpy ride to Rome. The city was crowded and noisy. So many people and lots of bumpers on the road. He had never seen so many people. So many big buildings, too. Then he noticed a big round building. What's that? he asked. It's the arena, said the soldier. That's where you are going. What happens there? asked Androcles. You will see, the soldier said. A man called Clinkus pulled Androcles off the cart. Out you get, Skinny, he said, and led Androcles into the arena, past a cage of lions. Those look like some very furious lions, don't you say? They weren't as gentle as Leo. No, they were not. Roars! Yikes! Why are they here? Hendricles asked nervously. <laughs> you will see, said Clinkus. Androcles was locked in a prison with a man called Marco. What happens now? asked Androcles. We fight in the arena, said Marco. But I don't want to fight you, said Androcles. We don't fight each other, Marco said. We fight the lions. Androcles gulped. We'll be torn to pieces. Everyone in Rome comes to watch, said Marco. Even the emperor. Hoo-hoo! The emperor will come see them do what? Get torn to pieces by lions? In the arena? Fights are tomorrow afternoon, he added. Boom, boom, boom. Androcles and Marco didn't get much sleep that night. They were up all night worrying about tomorrow. The next afternoon, Clinkus dragged Androcles from the prison. It's showtime! He took him down a long, dark tunnel to the doorway. Clinkus pushed Androcles through the door. Put up a good fight, he said. Androcles stood in the middle of the arena. Thousands of people sat around him. They gave a huge cheer. Woo! Bring on the lion! Woo! The three lions. The gate opened in the side wall, and the, an enormous lion charged out. Good luck, Androcles. You'll need it. What will he do? Androcles trembled with fear. There was nowhere to run. <laughs> Androcles closed his eyes. I hope it's over quickly, he thought. Then something strange happened. Androcles felt a lick on his hand. He opened his eyes to see. Leo! Hey, Leo! Hello, Androcles. I was caught last night, said Leo. They brought me here to fight. 
Androcles hugged his friend. The crowd couldn't believe it. Incredible! Amazing! Said the soldiers. Androcles has tamed the lion, they cried. What a hero! Androcles! Androcles! Clinkus took Androcles to the emperor. You were very brave, said the emperor. I think I'll set you free. Androcles thought of his friends. Please, will you free Marco and the lions too? You free them as well? The emperor smiled very well and said, My hero. Androcles and his friends left Rome and started their own show. And no one had to fight. No, they did not. Come and see the friendly lion, he said. Buy your tickets here. Androcles and the Lion is based on one of Aesop's fables. These are a collection of short stories told in Greece about 4,000 years ago! It's a very, 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 very long time ago. These stories are special because they always have a moral, a message, or a lesson at the end. The moral of this story is, be kind to your friends and they will never forget you. If you're kind to your friends, they will always remember your kindness, your courtesy, and how, how well they felt when you were around them. And that way they'll never forget you, and someday maybe someone will be kind to you too. Thanks a lot for joining me today with this story, Andrew Please and the Lion. I had a lot of fun reading it for you, and I hope that you read along from home and are staying safe, okay? Always drink your water, wash your hands, and if you're outside during this pandemic time, please wear your mask too. Okay, see you later. Goodbye. Bye-bye.